Welcome back guys. Today we're going to talk about what crypto wallets to use in 2022. These are the only wallets that you're really only ever going to need. They're the best crypto wallets for beginners and they are the only two that you really need. And what we're really going to talk about is how blockchain wallets really work. So if you are a beginner and you don't know anything about wallets, then this video is for you because I have a lot of people talking to me about this Exodus wallet. I made a video on that here and I'm going to refer to it again, but a lot of people have been having some trouble. Some people have said that they've been hacked or have lost their crypto using that wallet. And I did not experience that same kind of experience, but today I'm going to talk about exchange wallets, hot wallets, cold wallets, and really the only two wallets that you're ever going to need and use. So without further ado, if you are new to this channel or you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, then can you just do me this one favor. It's completely free, but please smash that like button and smash that subscribe button to help that YouTube algorithm. And now let's get into the video. So like I just said, there are really three different types of wallets, the exchange wallets, the hot wallets, and the cold wallets. The exchange ones are really, really dangerous. So if you're buying your cryptos on, let's say Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, FTX, or let's say Gemini, then you're leaving your cryptos at risk. So what you want to do is you want to keep your cryptos in a wallet that is not connected to the internet. That is, it's offline. And that way, that wallet cannot be hacked. And these wallets are what we call cold wallets. With hot wallets, once a scammer or a hacker gets a hold of your private keys, then it's over. And we're going to explain private key in a nice way that you will really understand because it's an analogy that you use every single day. On the other hand, with a cold wallet, you will need that cold wallet in order to make any transactions with it. Otherwise, things are just not going to work. So first things first, we're going to talk about exchange wallets. And you can see that I'm over here in Gemini and you can see that I have some balances. Now I have GUSD, BTC, Ethereum, Chainlink, AMP, Phantom, and you can see that there is a balance in each of them. Now, these balances are basically what constitutes as a wallet. So you can kind of imagine that your Bitcoin, this is your Bitcoin wallet, this is your Ethereum wallet, this is your Chainlink wallet, and every time you buy some Chainlink, you buy some Ethereum, it goes into these wallets. So that's the idea. Now these wallets sit on Gemini, right? Because when you log in and you see these balances, they are the wallets that exist only in Gemini. They don't exist on Coinbase. They don't exist on Binance. It's only on Gemini. And the thing about this is that Gemini holds your private keys. So you don't have access to your private keys, but Gemini does. So let me explain that concept of a private key right now. So each one of those balances you saw can be seen as a wallet. And each of those wallets have a key called a private key. Now, if your house was a wallet, then the key that you have will unlock the door to enter your house, right? And if somebody else had your key to enter your house, then they can basically enter your house and steal whatever they want from your house, right? So it's the same idea with a wallet. Anyone with your private key can go inside your wallet, go inside your house and check and take whatever crypto is in your wallet or your house for that matter. And here's the thing that exchanges don't tell you. With exchanges, they are the one that are keeping your keys. You do not hold your own keys. Basically what it means is you do not hold the keys to your own house. Coinbase, Binance, FTX, Gemini, they are the ones that holds the keys to your house. And if they say that we don't want you to enter your house, then that's too bad for you. You're locked out of your house. You can't get it back forever. Whatever is inside, it's FTX's, it's Coinbase's, it's Binance's now. You can't get it back. But that's okay, right? Let's imagine that we can really trust Coinbase, Binance, Gemini, or whatever to do what they are supposed to do, right? They're going to let you enter your house. But let's say that they are hacked by a hacker, right? And the hacker stole all the private keys. Now the hacker has access to all your cryptos. And now Gemini, Binance, whoever it is, they can't do anything about the hacker because they got all the private keys stolen by the hacker. So what do you do in that case? You can't do anything. The hacker has all your assets, all the money that you've ever put into crypto, all the trust that you put into Gemini to keep you safe is now gone. And that's the end of the story. All right, so aside from exchange wallets, there are things called hot wallets. And one hot wallet is called the Exodus wallet, which you can check out here. I made a full video of it, so make sure you check out this video after this one. But other than that, a lot of people have said that they have actually had their Exodus wallet and all their cryptos hacked and stolen by using the Exodus wallet. Now, personally, in my opinion, I've never had my Exodus wallet hacked. So I'm not sure if these people just have been messing about. Maybe they gave away their private keys somehow and they got their wallets hacked. 
That is the fault of the user, not because of the fault of Exodus. Now, Exodus is a free app, so it's free. You get what you pay for, right? So you gotta be aware of that. You know, there are a lot of noobs out there that maybe they're sending their Bitcoin to Ethereum wallet. If you do that, then 100%, you're gonna lose your Bitcoin, right? Because Bitcoin can't go to Ethereum wallet. It has to go to a Bitcoin address. So if you decide to use Exodus, then again, check out this video because it goes through all the steps necessary needed in order to set up Exodus and shows you how to use it. Also, I gotta warn you to not download Exodus or any hot wallets to your phone because if you lose your phone, then everything on your phone everything on those wallets can be taken away from you, right? That is just a risk that I don't want you to take. I would recommend and suggest just to use Exodus or another hot wallet like Trust Wallet only on your computer. Never download it on your phone, only use it on your computer. Because if you lose your phone with Exodus downloaded in it and someone is able to get into that, then they'll be able to grab all your money, all your cryptos and transfer it to their own wallet. You don't want that to happen. So with Exodus, you have your own private keys, such as with MetaMask. Now MetaMask is one of the two wallets that I really only use. It's kind of like Exodus, it's a hot wallet, it's connected to the internet. And you also have your own private keys. So you have the keys to your own house. Isn't that crazy? Now we'll take a look at how to set it up in just a second. But I just gotta tell you that I use MetaMask with my ledger, which I'll talk about in the next section. And you would mainly use MetaMask because it is already set up with Ethereum blockchain. And you can easily set up other blockchains like Phantom, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche with MetaMask as well. So MetaMask is like multi-useful. So with that said, let's jump into how to get set up with MetaMask. All right guys, so in this video, we are gonna install MetaMask. I'm gonna remove mine, make it a pain in the butt and help you install MetaMask by going through it from the start like a beginner. So if you don't know what MetaMask is, it is basically a wallet that holds your crypto that is Ethereum based or Binance Smart Chain based or now Theta based. So you can see here that I have my ledger installed and you can see that if we go under assets, you can see what assets, what tokens you have in this wallet. So I have a bunch of tokens in my ledger. You can connect your ledger, a hardware wallet or a treasure to MetaMask, it is no problem. Or you could use the default accounts that MetaMask comes with. So we're gonna talk about all that in later videos because in this video, I just wanna show you how to install it. So what you wanna go do is just go Google extensions, MetaMask, and look for the first link, MetaMask for Google Chrome. Open that up and you should come to this page which allows you to download MetaMask. Now I'm gonna remove mine right now. So now you don't see MetaMask on my page. So you can go add to Chrome and add extension. Now once you've added MetaMask, it should come up with this page. This page should automatically pop up. Click get started. And if you have a wallet, then you could just import your wallet by putting in a secret recovery phase. So if you click that, go click I agree, and then put in your secret recovery phase. Since we don't have one, we're just gonna go back and create a new wallet and click I agree. Put in a password, some password. I actually just told you my password. Apparently you can't type as well. So some password and agree, click create. It'll show you how to secure your wallet. Make sure to watch this video. I'm not gonna watch this video for you, but you get a 12 word key phrase that if you lose your password, these 12 words are pretty much how you're gonna get back into your wallet. So it's important to save those key phrases. So you just click this and you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve 10, 11, 12. 12 key phrases. So write these down, save them somewhere, make sure you don't lose them and you're good to go. Click next and confirm your secret recovery phrase. Now, maybe I should have actually revealed and saved that. So let's save this and get a text set it up. Put that there, next. It's cues, question, erupt, icon, immune, laundry. You see my, my memory isn't that good. Spatial employee three. So after that, click confirm, boom, you are done. So after that, you'll have your seed phrase. You can use a QR code. I haven't really used that, but there you go. There is your account wallet. So they automatically give you a wallet when you first create your account. You can copy that and that's your wallet address. So we'll talk more about some other stuff later down the road, but you can see that it comes up with default networks. Most of them or all of them are on the Ethereum. We can add new networks using this custom RPC. I'll show you that in later videos. But yeah, that's basically how you install MetaMask. So next thing you wanna do is go here, pin that to your browser so it's quick, easy access here. 
And that's pretty much it. That's how you install MetaMask. So I hope you enjoyed that pre-recorded video of how to install MetaMask. There's one last thing I want to show you. This is my ledger that is connected to MetaMask. Now I'm not going to show you how to connect it with MetaMask in this video, but you can see that it says hardware here because Ledger is a hardware wallet. So you can connect your Ledger to MetaMask. It's easy. We're not going to show it here, but make sure to smash the like and subscribe button to get the notification on how to do that when I drop that video. But anyways, on account one, this is the account that came with MetaMask when I made this account. So you can go here and actually you can go over here to the three dots and click on account details and you click export private key. Now, when you type in your password, once you type in your password, that will show you your private key. You must never give that key to anyone because once they have that key, they will be able to get into your account and steal all the cryptos that you have in your account. I don't have much in here. I have 3.53 USD in Matic. So not much in here, but if I had what I had, in my ledger, for example, then they would have gotten quite a bit of money or not a lot. I only have like 162 bucks in here. But anyways, that's MetaMask. One last thing I wanna mention is that 99% of my portfolio is in my ledger. Some of the money in there is staked, so that's why I don't see it in the MetaMask there. But 1% of that is in that account zero that you saw where I had like $3.53. That is where I used to trade or make exchanges with decentralized applications like Uniswap and things like that. We're not gonna talk about here, but that's just a ratio that I use to make sure that everything is safe because with the ledger that is connected to your MetaMask, the hacker will need your ledger in order to access the cryptos, the assets that you have in there. So that's just a safety precaution that I take. You don't have to take it if you don't want to, but I just wanna share with you just to tell you what I do for myself. So the last thing I wanna talk about is a ledger. Now this is a ledger. This is a cold wallet. A cold wallet means that it is not connected to the internet, which means that it is unhackable. The only way someone can actually get the cryptos in your ledger is if you give them your private keys or your secret phases, which is exactly kind of like the secret phases that we saw in MetaMask, except for the ledger, it is 24 secret phases instead of just 12. Now, what I want you to do right now is go to any of my videos and go to the description and you should see some only hardware wallet I use shop ledger that is your link to your ledger it's also somewhere in the pin comment there will always be a pin comment with where you can get a ledger the shop ledger.com you can use that referral link and that will actually open up at the ledger nano x now right now this is 149 dollars now you should get it right now because so far ledger nano x or the ledger company has been raising the prices for all their nano products so the sooner you get it the better because I'm not sure if this price is gonna stay the same. So get it right now if you can, use that link. And basically the Nano X is the same one that I use, it's the same one that I just showed you right now. So this little device here contains 99% of my portfolio. So if you can get this and my secret phases, then you can basically leave me penniless. But except for that 1%, that 1% is left on account zero for trading and stuff like that. Frequent activities such as exchanges that you use on Uniswap, but staking on the other hand, I connect my ledger to MetaMask and I do staking through that because if I wanted to unstake any of my coins or something or make anything that has something to do with my ledger, then I will need the actual device in order to make those transactions. If the hacker does not have your device, then they cannot take your coin, which is what's great about the ledger. So I'll probably make another video about how to connect this to MetaMask in another video because this video is getting long. So make sure to smash that like and subscribe button to get the notification of when that video drops if you wanna do this, right? My recommendation is be sure to get your ledger from that link that I have in the description or the pinned comment and move 99% of your cryptos into your ledger because that will make it unhackable. But as I showed you guys on the site, this thing was like, what, $149? So I don't want you to see this as a cost but as an investment because let's imagine that you had a hundred thousand dollars of cryptos and you just left it on exchange if someone hacks it hacks that exchange and takes your money it's all over but if you keep it in a ledger this is unhackable. It will bulletproof you from all the hackers. So consider it as a security investment rather than a cost. It's been quite a long video guys, but I gave you some suggestions. MetaMask and Ledger is all I use and might be the same exact wallets that you wanna use too. Other than that, I hope you got something from this video. I really felt like I needed to make this for all the beginners who are kind of confused about wallets. So I really hope it helped if you kind of fell in that category. But other than that, if this video served you a great deal of value, then please, can you help by smashing the like button, smash the subscribe button. Check out these other videos that I have here on cryptocurrencies and passive income. And remember guys, stay humble, stay patient, stay focused, and stay disciplined. See you next time.